contracts are essentially uh, the part of the smart contract that allows you to own something so when we talk about the blockchain there are smart contracts that are kind of like programs which dictate how something will work now when we're talking about these programs the assets are what supports that so it could be anything that you own in the real world a cryptocurrency a token and that asset basically functions as per the smart contract so let's say you're plugging in a program you know and you command the program to do an x function uh, the asset that moves with it you know let's say me sending some money to you because it's moving with the program it becomes a smart asset So digital wallets are exactly what the term says I think one of the simpler ones to understand it's simply a digital wallet uh, I think for the past few years we have been using Paytm and that is okay. our Indian currency digital wallet uh, coming to blockchain similarly this blockchain wallet uh, like metamask or trust wallet would be holding your blockchain assets and currency so your NFTs your cryptocurrencies your altcoins uh, anything that you earn transact with purchase on the blockchain will be a part of your blockchain digital wallet a native token is essentially the inherent currency of the blockchain we have many blockchains around us that you may have heard of you know we have bitcoin we have ethereum and each of these chains has a native token so we have btc for bitcoin we have eth for ethereum uh, and what these native tokens do is that they do the basic commands on the blockchain so something like me sending something to you would involve a gas fee or a transaction fee and that is paid for in this native token so essentially uh, when we look about the native tokens they are the most base layer of a blockchain and then of course other projects have tokens which are non native uh, but always supported by this native token so a hard fork is actually when a community decides to make a dramatic change to a blockchain uh, we have a set of protocols for every blockchain you know there is a program there is a procedure on how each blockchain runs uh, but at some point of time sometimes it's important for the community the developers in that community to upgrade the blockchain now this could be due to reasons like as simple as you know just updating the software the way we have in our computers uh, or it could be a more dramatic step but what a hard fork does is that it eliminates or invalidates the previous set of blocks and transactions so everything that has happened prior uh, gets uh, devalued or uh, you know removed so in that case in a hard fork two separate trains come out the same way we have in a real fork uh, so we have the one side which is sticking to the original the original story of the program and then we have this fork which is basically leading to a new kind of chain so what we see this in is traditionally like in bitcoin going into like bitcoin cash or ethereum going into eth classic uh, with every fork we kind of uh, have a duplication of the block uh, that can lead to the chain going in a different direction